What is up guys, welcome back to another video, right, so today I thought I'd take you around the new studio, the new office. I moved in a couple of weeks ago, but a bit of an office studio tour, it's been a while since I've done this sort of video. We've got Callie here, she's the office dog. I'll show you like a bit of the desk setup, the process for sulphur and behind the scenes kind of stuff. The YouTube studio as well that we've got where we shoot most of the content now. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the YouTube studio, the creative space where I film most of the content now for YouTube, Instagram and TikTok, like outfit ideas, fashion videos, all that kind of stuff. So we've got this like area, decided to put this flooring in just because like the carpet in there, that's what was in here before. So you see that was in there, like it just doesn't look great, does it? And then the, the concrete floor effects look so much better. It was quite expensive, but I think it just makes the studio look so much better. It's good for pictures for sulfur, fashion pictures as well, and just the content in general makes it look so much better. We've got this chair, we actually got this from Laura Ashley, I think it was online, and I think it was like 100 quid or something. I'll link everything in the description so you can have a look, but these are chair for pictures. We've got this stool from Ikea. Yeah, simple stool from Ikea. You can get loads of good stuff from Ikea, can't you? Quite affordable as well. We've got these pictures, which are off an online website, they weren't that expensive either, but I think it just makes the studio, just looks a little bit better, doesn't it, than just simple walls, simple white walls. We were actually going to get rid of the skirting board, but the, the contractor said like it's just going to be too much hassle to do, so just left it. Nice clean white walls with the concrete effect floor. I think it looks pretty good. So also in this corner, I've just got a mirror, which is from Dunelm. To be honest, I did wish I got a bit of a bigger one, just because it's quite small, but you can't really take like selfies in it, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I've got a mirror, just like good for like touching your hair up, seeing what the outfit looks like. And obviously when I'm shooting content or like getting pictures for sulfate, you need to like see if there's like a mark on the top or how, how you're looking, you know what I mean? So very essential mirror. We've also got a big studio light as well. This has helped a lot. It's a Godox SL60 watt. It's helped a lot to be honest because the natural light in here isn't amazing and then it's good to like know what light you're shooting with all the time so then you can change the camera settings you know what i mean so this is a very good light we've also got a couple of other lights here so these are just like video led panel lights from ralano both of them from ralano i think or newer newer yeah they're not like amazing amazing they're not as bright as that one but they do the job and it's really good for videos because then the light is just consistent as well we've obviously got the Clothing rail, so we've got loads of like sulfur samples on here. And then when I do like a haul video or an outfits ideas video, I'll put it all on here just so it's like nice and easy for me to get. But most of the stuff on here at the minute is like sulfur stuff, sulfur samples. So we've got the new polo shirts, which I'm actually wearing now, which will be dropping this Sunday, 30th of July, 7 p.m. But yeah, textured polos, been working on these for a while now. Got a nice steel gray color and in black. And also gonna be coming as a set as well, so we've got grey shorts, which are very nice to match with the polo, and then the black shorts, just in time for those like last minute summer holidays. I'll talk to you more about them later on. Got the trainers down there, just for when we're shooting content. And then moving on to here, so this is like, kind of like a bit of a design space, or sometimes we'll pack orders on here. Me and Laura will pack some orders, well, mainly Laura. Laura's the, the packer and the picker, Laura's the packer. Um, but yeah, this is just like, just a bit of a, like a higher workspace where you can pack orders, do design, so all that, do measurements for clothes and like samples and stuff like that. And it's just nice to, like a bit of a stand up desk is sometimes better than sitting down, isn't it? These again are just from Ikea. They've got like the adjustable legs. Callie's bed under there. We got, when did we get Callie's bed? It's Thursday. Last week we got yeah. Callie a bed. Laura's been nagging me. It was Callie's birthday last week, so she's, she's two now, so we've got a little dog bed. Callie? Callie. Callie, come on, come in, your in your bed. In your bed. You're a good girl. Sit down. Good girl. Is that good for you in there? That's nice, isn't it? Lie down. Lie down. <laughs> you can be shy. And here we've just got, like I did a bit of uh, filming with my mate the other day and I had to get him a pair of trainers. So they're just like some Axel Aragato. I've got some Primark stuff. Did a bit of a video with Primark. And then moving on to this bit. So we've just got like filing cabinet and then another like stack of drawers which just has like loads of little bits in so like business cards tape just has loads of random stuff in there like you might need like screwdriver stanley knife that kind of stuff and then here you've got we've got the gimbal and a camera that we use for content this is the sony a6300 i might be doing an upgrade 
soon maybe for like photos and stuff it's decent and it's good because you can interchange lenses as well so th this is a sigma 30 by 1.4 i'm not very good with that. i'm not very technical but it's a decent camera anyway and then like when i'm doing sampling and designs and stuff like that we've got some of the fabrics and materials that we use this is going to be for like a new cargo jacket which is going to be coming soon so it's like a, a bit of a stretch fabric but it's a bit bit thicker it's well it's well nice you know proper nice so moving on to this side now we've just got three desks from ikea which are all the same these are like the super cheap desks and they're dead good because you can buy different legs for them as well so i think the desks are like 16 quid each legs we get for like a five so it's not that expensive you know what i mean if you just want like a, a little home desk office setup or something just get one of these we've got a printer from canon it's not great we need to get a new printer to be honest um, and then for the labels, for like all the shipping labels, like Royal Mail, Every, DPD, we've got a Dymo label, right, a 4XL, which does a job to be fair, like you just have to plug it in by USB, but it makes it way quicker when we're printing off all the shipping labels, like it's so much better. Just a bit of stationery, we've got some aftershave as well for if, like if you come here after the gym and you want to smell a bit better, some deodorant, hairspray. Always handy to have when we're like shooting outfit videos or like game pictures for the website. And then got my gaming chair, which I've had for a while now. We had this at my mum and dad's house like three, four years ago when I was playing the F1 simulator, if you guys know. Um, yeah, proper good chair, nice and comfy. We've got two Apple MacBooks. I got this new one probably about six months ago now. Uh, MacBook Pro, 13 inch. 500 gig it's way better like this is good as a backup like if, if we both need to be on the laptop like to do returns refunds or um something like a customer service and this one's good as well it's just good to have two there um, but i do like on a laptop i might look at getting a screen and maybe a keyboard because it just makes it a bit easier having a mouse and a keyboard sometimes it's a bit annoying on the laptop isn't it but that's pretty much it just like a few bit of, um, bit of filing over there few more bits for camera equipment and then coffee machine from Nespresso and a fridge. So this is the stock room. This used to be the only office we had, but we actually spoke to the company and they knocked through a wall because the people were moving out of that one. So I thought it'd be a good idea, do you know what I mean? We're expanding. Sulfur has grown like quite a bit this year. So we needed the space. Like we're even running out of space in here to be fair. So the textured zip polo shirts and shorts, we've got the boxes for them. Oh, really not. <laughs> um, we've got all the jeans. The jeans are actually selling pretty quick now. So obviously the jeans and all the stock comes in cardboard boxes, but I think it's pretty cool to cut like little letterbox holes like we do here. It just makes it proper easy to pick and pack. And obviously we've got the size on the um, box, the length as well, the colour of them. You stack them up like that. It's a little bit of effort like at the start, but makes it way easier than having to put them into like plastic boxes. Like I've done it, otherwise we'd have to have like hundreds of these plastic boxes and it's good here because you can like pull them out do you know what i mean makes it way easier but yeah got quite a few jeans still left we're gonna have to reorder them soon jeans have been selling proper good um textured polo sets we've got loads of new stuff coming in as well which is good we've got a bit of a packing station here mailing bags this is just like a sack full of rubbish we've got the dumbbells actually actually bought from in lockdown down there don't really use them anymore because we've got go to just go to the gym most of the stuff on this side is like stuff in the sale but we do have like t-shirts and um, we've got white stone black we've got a few new colors in t-shirts coming so we've got like a sage green kind of color we've got a lava gray and a full restock on the black we've got like some of the old samples up there it's like to be honest i probably do need to go through and sort it out and make a bit more space because there's not much stock here but yeah that's basically the stock room it's just stock boxes of stock really so we also got these in the other day which are pretty cool it's like custom ziploc mailing bags makes it a lot easier for like returns and stuff because before we just had normal like plastic poly bags and obviously if they don't fit off you got to swap the size just put them straight back into the bot straight back into the bag send them back makes it a lot easier for us as well like it was a lot of effort having to like get a new bag sort it all out that kind of stuff so that's pretty good the letter boxes definitely help with like packing and picking and stuff like that. But yeah, that is most of the stock. We've got a, a walking pad treadmill that I got a few years ago, but brought it to the office. Don't really use it. Probably need to use it more, get some more steps in. That's basically it. The studio, the office, the stock room. 
think, to be honest, we are going to have to expand more soon, aren't we, Laura? Yes, we need a bigger office. Just because, like, with Black Friday coming up and loads of new releases, like, we've got loads of colours in the cargo pants coming. We had Stone and Black, we've got three more colours coming in that. We've got cargo jacket. We've got, the like, other trousers. the other type of trousers, like a utility track pant. I know this is just talking about sulfate upcoming releases, but, yeah, just we're going to need a lot more space, which is good. Very good. I think that's it, guys. So a bit of an office studio warehouse, mini warehouse tour where all the stock's kept and everything. Like, if you want to see more of these like behind the scenes videos, let us know. But most of the time now, most of my time is spent on Sulfate trying to grow it and just working on new products and stuff like that. Like, but if you guys want to see more behind the scenes, let us know. Um, like I said as well, these brand new Zip Polos are going to be dropping this Sunday. The fit on them is class, like a nice slim fit. They've got a nice texture to them coming in this black color in gray. And we've also got the shorts to match and then premium t-shirts as well. But yeah, sign up to the main list if you've not already. The link will be in the description. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop it a like. That is it from me today. Catch you on the next one.